So the big question is this. How are real estate agents like us, who didn't cheat and take on venture capital, and are spending money from our own pockets, how do we compete with these billion dollar real estate tech companies and iBuyers in a way that lets us bring our services and the things we believe in out into the world and still remain profitable? That's the big question. And on this podcast, we'll give you the answers. Welcome to the iBuyer Experiment. Hey, hey. Hey there. Welcome to today's podcast. Okay, agents, we got... uh, Huge announcement for you. Huge. We're doing something we've never done before here at Zudilio. Huge. This next week, Thursday and Friday, the 18th and the 19th, we're going to be hosting a two-day workshop called the Zudilio Cash Offer Certification Workshop. It's from 9 to noon, both days. We're going to go over your instant cash offer website that you'll receive as a subscriber how to generate seller leads using your website, and a very in-depth about our exclusive products that you'll be able to give your clients. So that way, when you leave after the two days, you'll feel like a, a full expert on you know how to um, service your clients better with those programs. And then we'll go over the seller dashboard and the agent dashboard. After the second day, you'll get your, you know, your, your login, you'll be ready to go. And we're going to give you your first three months for free. free. Can you believe that? Three months of Zudilio for free. Doesn't and you're going to get a free. really cool certification badge that you're able to put in your email holla, holla. and put out to your, uh, your social media. So everyone knows that you have these really cool products and services that not every agent has to offer. So if you're interested and you're listening to the podcast today, the best way uh, to get a hold of us and let us know that you want to uh, sign up for that support at zudelio.com yep, yep. give us your name and number and we'll get you entered in and we hope to see you there this Let's is a 537 dollar value guys 537 dollar value three months of zudelio for free oh so uh space is limited i know that keith is already signed up a few people. So yeah, Keith um, has been talking with people today and like, yeah. filling up our slots. So if yeah. you are interested, please do email us at support at Zudelio.com. And this is an in-person. Yes. Right, in-person. In person. Person. Yep. Wow. So the Zudelio your office. Mask. I don't even know how I, I'm like, huh? In person? I know. We in are person. located. Not a Zoom? Wait, huh? All right. I, li- I, I, hey, I love it though. We're like, bit. We're located in Gilbert, Arizona, folks. So uh, we are excited. We will have lunch and a mingle after as well. Lunch, Lunch free lunch, mingle, baby. Free lunch, free lunch. That was really that was that was good, man. It was like off the cuff, quick. Like you almost seemed like you had to like re. He's it was delivered cool. enough as if you were you had rehearsed it. And I was like, Dang. he's been on the phone because inviting he's people right now. So. I know. That's why I said I could totally tell he was talking about it. Like, he's Dang. already filled up slots. Anyone Represent. say no? Huh? Represent. Anyone say no? Not, I, the yeah. only people who have, they haven't said no. I just haven't got a hold of them. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they have yet to say yes. You know, something just kind of that whole haven't got a hold of them thing. Follow up. Follow up Ooh. is such a huge thing. And I mm. talked about this yesterday on my coaching call and I know that we talk about it internally but I think follow-up is so underrated Mm. by real estate agents by salespeople in general right yeah well I know I'll be talking about it on my um, coaching call tomorrow that's for sure because it's certainly the topic 50% of the time follow 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 So true. and unique right and value which is all things that that I feel like we do practice what we preach, you know, in, the, in, in this environment. The fortunes in the follow-up. <laughs> okay, wait, rapid fire, real quick, off the cusp, quick answer. Why do agents not follow up Elliot first? Fear of lack of what to say. Jason. Because they're scared. Keith. Fear of being rejected and yep. just them not want, no. The fear of the no. Fear of the no. Don't, don't right. know what to do. Yeah. Don't feel like they yeah, have so they're a not even trying proposition. Not even a try. You know, it's always a no if you don't follow up. So, you d- or if or one of my I favorite hear Michael Jordanisms, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. There so you what about Gretzky. what about you? Oh, what, okay, what, I knew it was yours? one of them. I thought it was. Why I thought don't it was an agents follow up? I think it's. I, I agree. Fear of rejection. They don't want to be told no. And I, I still go through it today. Yeah, of course <laughs> it sucks to be told no. I think a lot of. It, they don't know what to say or don't know what to do and don't feel like they have a, a unique value proposition, right? I guess that's all kind of maybe very similar, but yeah. True. All of the, it's all of the above. It's all fear. 
Mm-hmm. Fear, overwhelm. If I follow up and I get more business, can I handle more business? Oh, there you go. I do know this, and you know us as entrepreneurs, uh, you went know, out of town. Tech builders, uh, entrepreneurs of, of a couple, of m- several spaces now. I do know this? The really the ten x rule. I it's I, it's more like the hundred x rule, where uh, we think that things are going to come automatically, easily. First rep, second rep, third rep. I only know, but hell no. It is unbelievable how many reps you have to take before you're even decent, and then the conversations start. Then that's when the follow up and all of those things start to come become important. So, so chew true. on that one. Chew on that one for me. Real estate's a contact sport, and uh, the more real estate conversations you have, the more business you're going to get. And uh, here is a headline that came out today. Uh-oh, another <laughs> one. Actually, I have two. Dun, dun, I have two. Dun. So this one real quick and then I've got one more I want to I want us all to talk about. So we can't leave this podcast without talking about these two things. And I know sometimes headlines have a tendency to terrify more than clarify, but I love to talk mm. about these things on the Zudelio I Buyer Experiment podcast because see, we have the solution, we have the the antithesis to what is happening in the real estate aid industry. Tempest. We have a software that will really empower real estate agents to fight back. But here is a headline that came out today. This is an article by Brad Inman himself. So he actually wrote this one. And the headline is, is Wall Street taking over real estate? Mm. Yeah, they're trying. Of course they are. It's a, what's, what's the trillion something trillion dollar industry? I mean, come on. 1.8. Yeah, 1.8 trillion. Where's it gonna try? For sure. Yep. Dude. So what? So what does? I mean, what did, the, what did it say, Kayla? For sure. Let's talk about it. Well, I mean, he just cites what's what's happening in all of the billion dollar, you know, and rising valuation real estate companies. Uh, you have Open Door, Zillow, Offerpad, right? You have Compass. You have all of these these companies that are just rising in valuation. So here is. Um, Here's something though that I thought was really interesting. And, and Brad has such a way of kind of summing these thing, things up. It's the big question is, do small private brokerages have the capital, the technology, and the will to keep up with the digita- digitization of real estate that is mm. remaking the process of buying and selling homes? I think there's one key word in that, will. I think there's there's another key word, and that's digitization of real estate. It's a key phrase, I should say. And that is the question, and that is what the Zudelio software does. And so I get really yeah. pumped up and excited about this, guys. Yes. Because, see, we thought of this. We saw this. We saw this years mm, ago. Years we, ago. We thought, you know, listen, if we are going to survive as an industry, we have to adapt. And, and it's only the adaptable that will survive. And we did. And we created something for you. And you now have the power to compete with like a billion dollar company. And I just think that's really cool. Yeah, bring the same tools and value proposition, right? At the end of the day. And the cool thing that you have. Well, yeah, the as software, the agent. I mean, the software, it's the digitization, <laughs> well, right? It's the, it's the consumer being able to go on to the site and, but even, and communicate and see what, what the offers are, see what, um, you know, communicate with their agent. Um, see comps, that sort of thing. Absolutely. But they still maintain the relationship, right? Like, so if the value proposition is equal or similar, they're absolutely going to go with the person that they have a relationship with. So that's, that's another thing I love that we have been able to assist with these agents with, like you said it. So now they have a unique value proposition and they're able to lean on their relationships to do so. Yeah, I mean, every single week they're just coming out with more crazy headlines, oh like you said. There's a blockbuster and, every week. And I know we've mentioned it on the podcast before, but it's inevitable when you have all these billion dollar evaluation uh, real estate tech companies, mm-hmm. they are forcing the change. Absolutely. Whether yes. we want it or not. That's right. And so. Yeah, you, like, you just you have to figure out, hmm, OK, well, there's always an angle. And as an individual agent, a brokerage, or a team, what's an angle? And Zudelio is a perfect angle. I have a I question agree. for all of I us agree. that I th- that I would love to hear our answer to. Like rapid fire? Yes, yeah, rapid, rapid fire. fire. Okay. Ready? Rapid right, fire. Ready? Go. So, 
Here, well, hold on. I need to ask my question first. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey. So, Brad and Min, uh, a lot of these news articles are constantly talking about the disruption, the disintermediation of agents, all of this new tech coming in the space. Yet, in your local real estate markets, the greater conversation does not exist of the, these things. Why do we think that these? it's constantly in the headlines that all of this is going on, but yet it's not on the, it's not a part of water cooler talk? Rapid fire, well, I, who wants it first? I, I disagree, I think it is. I mean, I'm, we go into the Arizona forum, the real estate forum. Are you talking about consumers or are you talking about agents? No, I'm talking about agents. I, uh, yeah, I, I'm talking I, purely I agents. Agents talking about Zillow and all these things going on Fair. every day on the forum. Fair. Okay. Yes. I mean, they're pissed. That's I mean, digital water cooler talk, Elliot. <laughs> That's digital water cooler. Yeah. <laughs> digital water cooler. It's the water digital cooler. water cooler. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it absolutely is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think it's I think it's also um, a specific agent base too. It's mm -hmm. not every agent. I mean, mm -hmm. there's there are some agents out there that have their blinders on. And they're just kind of like, there you go. That's what I think. I don't know why. Why am I not selling a, sell enough real estate? What's going on? You know, and they're mm -hmm. and they're just not. You know, they're not subscribed to Edmund, and they're <laughs> they're I, uh, they don't have the pulse on the on the uh, on what's going on in the in the industry. Well, and regardless of, we can debate this all day. You know, I still there's still a lot of agents going, oh, well, they're not that big a deal right now because yep. most of their offers suck anyway. And the client's probably not going to take it. Our so, offers don't suck. I'm just saying that, you know, I, that I still see that as chat. And it's like, OK, that may be the case. But uh, you get in front of enough consumers that doesn't that stops. That doesn't matter anymore. I mean, example is the, <laughs> the house that we just purchased. Um, Zudelio just took down yep. or we were, we're in, in the we're under contract. Yep. But um, we went. We went and did the inspection, and the house is totally cluttered. It's got boxes everywhere. They have five, six dogs, eight like not several eight cats, cats, but like several cats, um, bunch of kids, and it's you know, there's home. the the lady told us like there's no way I could have ever gotten this house ready to sell. Oh, so the that our solution to her is the easy button. It's like yep. there's no like she would probably not move if. If it wasn't for our solution, or, or taking a or bath, been, or taking a yeah. huge bath, right? or if she would have gotten some type of instruction, she would have had a horrible time going through that process. Yep. She, she basically communicated it would have been completely overwhelming, and she didn't even know how she would have pulled it off if she had to, quote unquote, get her house prepared. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's a there's there was a study out there that said like people would rather spend like a week in jail than move because mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it sucks. Hey, there's right? some people and who said they'd rather jump off a building than public speak. So <laughs> yeah, that would not be me. <laughs> but I think that the reason why it's not talked about more around the water cooler is because what's talked about around the water cooler <clears throat> is so and so use this person as their agent and not me. And yep. oh my god, in this binzer, you won't believe what the inspector put on this report. And yep. oh my god, the appraisal came in for forty thousand dollars less, and there's like all these cops, and they didn't use them and like that's the water cooler talk they're so freaking stuck on the deal yep. and they're so stuck on you know what's showing up the minutia of what's showing mm. up in the deal that they don't have time to focus on the macro mm. that's what i think i so true which is sucks that's i mean don't much, get me wrong yeah, all of those things a lot. suck right and it's it's super easy to get sucked in on the deal we all yeah, know that it sure is and then all of a sudden it like consumes you. Well, and freaking lose sleep over it. Does it does go back to lack of systems, lack of process. Therefore, they get so focused on where their next paycheck is coming from that they don't have a consistent process and system to have dependable, duplicatable paychecks. I'm always worried about when, where my next paycheck is coming from. <laughs> no, I, I, it could be. It could be. But I just False. think sometimes it's, it's, it's hard to get. It's it's hard. You're invested. You're emotionally invested in these transactions, and you know, I remember, I remember I had one around Christmas time where I was just so worried that the property wasn't going to appraise. Do you remember that? Yep. I can I remember going, "Oh my God, I just want the appraisal to come." Oh, back. I've had anxiety. I mean, absolutely. Attacks. I'm using that very loosely. Yeah, I'm not I get like, it. <laughs> but uh, I'm but I'm just I'm sitting there like at nighttime before bed. I'm like. Transaction. <laughs> Especially if it's a drama seller. <laughs> oh my gosh! Through the years, like when the, the one of my favorite appraisal ones ever. When okay, I gotta tell you, super quick. Quick guy listed his house, uh, overpriced, 
fell out like on purpose. He was happy it canceled. Wanted to raise the price, $50,000. I about came unglued at him <laughs> wanting to do it. Then when the property did, didn't appraise back for what, what I told him what, that we had obtained a contract for before ended up being the price, he literally, I remember telling him, yep, didn't appraise. No, you're kidding me, it didn't? I said, no, I'm kidding you. It came back at what we told you. <laughs> oh, well, the guy was kind snap. of difficult to work with. I was very happy when that transaction ended. We have Do you remember who I'm talking about? Yeah, just, uh, unfortunately, regardless of how hard you work for somebody, we all know as agents, some people are just ungrateful. And it is yep. what it is. Yep. It comes, mm. with the, comes with the beast. That's true. Yep. That's you, why you, you hope and pray that, you know, maybe they'll look back and be like, oh, actually, yeah, he was pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and refer him to somebody. And that's, yep. why, we, that's why we work hard for our clients. Yep. I mean, amongst other things, of course, but that referral, baby. We always looking for that referral. Oh. <laughs> uh. so, so I wanted to, I wanted to share something, um, Kayla. You, you, I think you talked on your coaching call um, about the uh, the letter that Rich Barton wrote. Mm. Oh, la the last paragraph. Right? Oh my! And I'm just gosh. gonna read it. I'm just gonna read just it read so it. we can all so we can Was all that listen the one to that it. And, you posted? It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Read so it. it says it says we are connecting. This is this is Rich Barton um, in his letter to his shareholders. We are connecting services together for our customers and using our low cost of customer acquisition mm. across multiple products to compete against an industry of largely single point solution providers mm. with high customer acquisition costs. So they're competing against industry of largely single point solution providers. Who is that? Agents. That's the agent. We are competing right? against Kayla Leos at JK Realty. We are competing against Keith Howard. We are competing against insert your name here. Yes. Yep. We now have the building blocks in place and our story ahead will be about execution. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> and scaling <laughs> as we strive to improve the digital experience for the broader industry alongside our partners. Uh, partners, the meaning they're Zillow partners, obviously, some of those agents that are Zillow partners, but those partners are also, I think, doomed in the in the years to come. I don't really think that they're going to keep keep these agent partners on for Heck no. 20 years. They're, they're gonna not going to need to. They're, they're going to, they're, they're slowly, cost? they're slowly, you know, hiring agents to do the Zillow offers now. And they did that. Now what's next, right? And actually, if you read through the letter, because I did, and there was a portion in the letter where he actually says that them uh, opening up an in-house brokerage has dramatically improved the customer experience. Mm. How does that feel, George Lawton? I mean, I don't know. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> but no disrespect. We think you're a great agent. Yeah. No, they are. They're amazing. Yes. It's just, it's just, it's the spin. The yep. spin is incredible, but it's kind of shocking. And the last, the last sentence is we continue to be in early pages of the story and look forward to sharing future chapters with you in the quarters and years ahead. And then he should have been, and then he should have, by the way, we all coming after all you. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what he said yeah. in a very intellectual <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. Do you think that he thinks inside his head, like, oh, we saw this when, uh, you know, all the travel agencies who didn't want to play with Ex Expedia. <clears throat> Right, like when, when they when they resisted being aggregated and all of those Good types of question. things. But agents didn't resist; they just gave Zillow money for the they leads, right? And built their basically built their platform. Well, and the kills the kill Zillow statements have been around for I don't know. I mean, there's been it's been a hot minute now, but there's no question. I just love how they I, like we can all say that they didn't do it on purpose, whatever else. However, however, we have got to where we are. The reality of it is, is they've lied a lot along the way, saying that they would never jump into the, this space. You know, when their all their revenue came from agents, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We all know that that is not the case. They, they have, just didn't see the angle until, until Eric mm. Wu painted a really pretty pretty picture called Open Door. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. They saw the angle. And but what? For sure. Uh oh, we better make a move, or we're going to be <laughs> yeah. ousted. That's you, right. But oh, sorry. Oh go no, ahead. go for it. I was going to say you remember. Uh, wasn't it on, on like MTV where the little clay things would go into a ring <laughs> and they would literally battle to the death? Yeah, what was that show? Remember? 
Yeah. No. They used to have all kinds of cool, crazy it. characters. I wasn't was allowed just, to watch MTV. Oh, I was no. just thinking, I'm True just like, story. that would be a cool episode. You have all three of those CEOs in a ring. Like, all right, who's coming out alive? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what they're doing to each other right yeah. now. They are literally battling uh, to who can take over this market and dominate it the most. Well, there's, oh, there's, there's room. Plenty. There's, there's room for there's, it. There's I know there's room, room but it does, now there's it, not there's not room for the solo agent. That there's a lot of there's a lot of solo agents that I think are going to die. I mean, not not tomorrow, not no. next year, not two years from now. Nobody likes to talk but, about that. But we 10, all 15 like years from now, there will be a lot less agents guaranteed. Well, we'll see about that. Not if they're using Zoodilio. That's right. That's why well, we exist. There, there will be those that that adopt <laughs> stuff like that. They're gonna they're gonna adopt a, a platform like that, and they're gonna live. Real quick though, I want to touch on one other thing before we end today. How about what Open Door recently did? Last mm. week, Open Door announced a cash buyer program. Anyone want to sum that up real quick and um, what we're seeing on that front? I'll take it. Um, so essentially, what they did is that you are allowed to go to uh, Open Door, get have them turn you into a cash buyer. However, there are a couple of caveats to it. You can use your lender, your own lender, but you have, need to get pre qualified with uh, Open Door Mortgage course you have an opportunity to lose some traction there with you know if you're a mortgage person however here is the dagger in the back to the agent again you must use an open door agent in that circumstance so you cannot you can't go to open door and say hey nope. i would like to nope. turn my my uh my buyer into cash no nope. you cannot do that but but you can do that with zudelio correct We've been so talking about this for months. If That's you don't have a product, that's you right. don't have a product like this for your clients, guess what they're going to go? They're going to go to Open Door. Well, and again, I'm reading in the forums right now where there's, there are a lot of agents that are getting fired after they're writing 10, 15 offers for their client. Of course, they're losing out in a multiple offer situation. They're blaming it on the agent, even though we all know it's not the agent's fault. The reality of it is, is the market's ultra competitive and they're blaming on the agent. So for goodness sakes, agents, take advantage of Zudilio. Turn your buyer's offer to cash. Let's compete and win you some deals. That's right. And don't forget, join us next week, March 18th and 19th from 9 a.m. Yes. to noon. And we are going to certify you in the cash offer programs. And we're also going to give you a three-month subscription of Sudelio for free. Three months. And for some reason, if the 18th and the 19th don't work for you, we'll be doing another one on April 1st and April 2nd. Same location from 9 to 12 both days. Put That's that right. in the calendar. All right, guys. See you there. Thank See you, you then. Appreciate you tuning in. Deuces. We truly appreciate you taking the time to be with us here today on the iBuyer Experiment Podcast. Please remember to like and subscribe so that you're notified when we launch new podcasts. We'll catch you on the next one show you the money.